Hello, I'm Dana Rocky, and um, I've been a dentist for 34 years. About a year ago, I opened a brand new practice in Newport Beach, and there we practice what we call wellness-based dentistry. And even though I've been doing dentistry for 34 years, I'm very excited about our new emphasis of what I call oral systemic dentistry or total health dentistry, where we not only look at a patient's oral cavity, but really what's going on in the rest of their body and how each of the body affects the mouth and the oral cavity and uh, affects the body. So we are really excited about treating uh, patients as a whole. And uh, we, after all, are in, in what I call healthcare. And I, uh, sad to say that many in dentistry today believe that dentistry is uh, procedure driven. Well, I still believe that dentistry is patient driven. And in that regard, we do wellness-based dentistry where we take a look at the patient as a whole. And I'm really, really proud of that. Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Sears. I'm a pediatrician of 50 years, father of eight, and I practice with my two sons, Dr. Jim and Dr. Bob, in Dana Point, California. And Dana and I have a lot in common in the way we practice medicine. I practice medicine, as he says, personalized medicine, the whole body. So it's not only the skills, what you do, we also prescribe the pills, but that's a model that often doctors forget. It's not only, doctor, what can I take? It's, doctor, what can I do? And that's really what we want to share with you today. This all started for me, this concept of oral systemic, about four or five years ago mm -hmm. when I joined an organization called um, American Association for Oral and Systemic Health. And, and that's where it's an organization of physicians and dentists and chiropractors and nurses and wellness professionals all working together. So when you mention that um, cardiac and periodontal uh, connection there, we've actually been talking about that in our dental community since 1999. And physicians, I must say, have been, have been a little late to the party being <laughs> able to quite get the connection. <laughs> but it is true that oral bacteria uh, migrate from the oral cavity um, into the bloodstream. And of mm -hmm. course, the number one area that you sort of don't want that to go would be the, the uh, heart and the cardiovascular vessels. So we've been talking about that for some time and I'm glad that physicians like yourself and more and more are coming on board and realizing there is a connection that we can, as a team, uh, work to solve. Yes, and, I, and in fact, we physicians are starting to use dental terms like microbiome mm -hmm. and biofilm. Biofilm is a wonderful word that I learned from you, actually. And the, as I understand, biofilm is all of our cavities are lined with a protective paint, I call it, mm -hmm. called biofilm, I think, in, in dental jargon. And the better your bacteria are in that biofilm, the good bugs crowd out the bad bugs. So you have a healthy biofilm. So the key is to take care of your oral health to have a good biofilm in the mouth, which goes on down to have a good biofilm in your gut to keep the gut bugs happy. Yes, many people can sort of understand that periodontal disease has something to do with bacteria. Mm -hmm. And um, when periodontal disease gets started, of course, the bad bacteria to call overgrow, and mm -hmm. you have um, bad bacteria biofilms growing at the bottom of the pocket. That, of course, causes tissue damage and bone mm -hmm. damage and mm -hmm. loss of loss of bone and movement of teeth and et cetera. Mm -hmm. But very few people are, are aware that dental decay is actually biofilm driven too. Yeah. Bacteria cause dental decay and it's the overgrowth of the bad bacteria that mm -hmm. you're re referring to that right. actually cause the breakdown of the tooth. So, and actually the key to health is to feed the good bacteria yes. So that they overpower the bad bacteria, is that right? Yes, I like to think of it as feeding the good ones and fighting the bad ones. I love that because I, I love that the, the term microbiome is probably new to a lot of people and basically I explain it to kids that, that you have good gut bugs that live inside and in return for a warm place to live and free food, they do good things for you. They're like a, a internal medicine your own living pharmacy inside your gut. I call it the gut pharmacy. But we've got to feed the pharmacy staff well and take care of them so they fight the bad bugs.